In this video, we're going to write a Python program to generate random lottery numbers. So lotteries will have some range of numbers like 1 to 49, and some amount of distinct numbers will be randomly chosen from that range. For example, the winning lottery numbers might be six numbers chosen at random from the range 1 to 49. We're going to write a Python program that randomly chooses some amount of numbers in some range, and we'll let the user specify the range of numbers and the amount to be chosen from that range. So the first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the starting point for the range of numbers. So we'll have start is equal to int input with the string start colon space as an argument. So the input function is gonna prompt the user with the text start colon. The user will then be able to enter in a string. The input function will return that string and int will convert that to an int. And we're gonna store that into start. We'll do the same thing with the endpoint for the range of numbers. So we'll have end is equal to int input end colon. So again, we're going to accept the endpoint of the range of numbers as user input. We'll also prompt the user to enter in the amount of numbers to be chosen from this range. So we'll have amount is equal to int input amount chosen colon. Now we should also do some input validation because we have to have at least one number chosen from the range. So if the amount is less than or equal to zero, that's not going to work. So if the amount is less than or equal to zero, we're gonna exit with an error message. We'll print out amount chosen must be at least one, followed by quit to exit the program. We should also make sure that the amount of numbers we wish to choose does not exceed the total amount of numbers available in the range. And that's given by end minus start plus one, because we have this inclusive range of numbers where both ends can be included in the set of numbers that we choose. So if we have 49 and one as the start and end point of our range, this will tell us that we have 49 total numbers available to choose from. So if the total numbers available is less than the amount of numbers that we want to choose, we'll again exit with an error message. So if this condition is true, we'll print out amount chosen can't exceed available numbers. And again, we'll quit. So now we have valid values for start, end, and amount. We'll use the random module to help us randomly choose the numbers from the range. So up here, we're going to import random. And then down here, we can use the sample function of the random module to randomly select the numbers. So we'll have numbers is equal to random sample. And first we provide a range as an argument, including our range of numbers. So we'll have range start end plus one. We have n plus one to make sure the actual endpoint is included in this range. Then we'll have amount. So what we're going to do here is randomly select this amount of numbers from this range, from start to end. And then we could print out these numbers. So we can save this program and test it out. Over here, we'll run the program. I'll enter in one for the start of the range, 49 for the end, and six for the amount of numbers to choose. And here we get six random numbers chosen from the range, one to 49. Now using the sample function like this is nice because we're gonna get six distinct numbers, which is what lotteries use. They use distinct numbers. And it works because the sample function is gonna randomly pick out amount number of numbers from this range. We could also test out our error handling code. So we'll run the program again. We'll enter in one and 49, but this time we'll enter in amount chosen of zero. And we get amount chosen must be at least one. We could run the program again. And this time we'll enter in a start of one and end of 49. But for amount chosen, we're going to have 100. So now we're trying to choose more numbers than there actually are in the range. And here we get amount chosen can't exceed available numbers. So it looks like our code for handling errors is also correct. 
And this is how we can randomly generate lottery numbers in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.